I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Question 29.1. Questioner, is our son a sublogos or the physical manifestation of a sublogos? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 29.2. Questioner, then I am assuming that this sublogos created this planetary system in all of its densities. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. The sublogos of your solar entity differentiated some experiential components within the patterns of intelligent energy set in motion by the logos which created the basic conditions and vibratory rates consistent throughout your, what you have called, major galaxy. Question 29.3 Questioner, then is this sublogos which is our sun the same sublogos just manifesting in different parts through the galaxy or is it all the stars in the galaxy? Answer, I am Ra. Please restate. Question 29.4. Questioner, what I'm saying is that there are roughly 250 billion stars somewhat like ours in this major galaxy. Are they all part of the same sublogos? Answer, I am Ra. They are all part of the same logos. Your solar system, as you would call it, is a manifestation somewhat and slightly different due to the presence of a sublogos. Question 29.5. Questioner, let me be sure I'm right then. Our sun is a sublogos of the logos of the major galaxy? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 29.6. Questioner. Are there any sub sub that are found in our planetary system that are, sub, to our sun? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 29.7. Questioner, would you give me an example of what I would call a sub sub -logos? Answer, I am Ra. One example is your mind, body, spirit complex. Question 29.8. Questioner, then every entity that exists would be some type of sub or sub sub logos. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct down to the limits of any observation, for the entire creation is alive. Question 29.9. Questioner, then the planet which we walk upon here would be some form of sub sub logos. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. A planetary entity is so named only as logos if it is working in harmonic fashion with entities or mind-body complexes upon its surface or within its electromagnetic field. Question 29.10. Questioner, do the sub such as our sun have a metaphysical polarity positive or negative as we have been using the term? Answer, I am Ra. As you use the term, this is not so. Entities through the level of planetary have the strength of intelligent infinity through the use of free will, going through the actions of beingness. The polarity is not thusly as you understand polarity. It is only when the planetary sphere begins harmonically interacting with mind-body complexes, and more especially mind-body-spirit complexes, that planetary spheres take on distortions due to the thought complexes of entities interacting with the planetary entity. The creation of the one infinite creator does not have the polarity you speak of. Question 29.11 Questioner, thank you. Yesterday you stated that planets in first density are in a timeless state to begin with. Can you tell me how the effect that we appreciate as time comes into being? Answer, I am Ra. We have just described to you the state of beingness of each logos. The process by which space-time comes into continuum form is a function of the careful building, shall we say, of an entire or whole plan of vibratory rates, densities, and potentials. When this plan has coalesced in the thought complexes of love, then the physical manifestations begin to appear, this first manifestation stage being awareness or consciousness. At the point at which this coalescence is at the livingness or beingness point, the point or fountainhead of beginning, space-time then begins to unroll its scroll of livingness. Question 29.12 Questioner, I believe that love creates the vibration in space-time in order to form the photon. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is essentially correct. Question 29.13 
Questioner, then the continued application of love, I will assume that this is directed by a sublogos or a subsublogos, creates rotations of these vibrations which are in discrete units of angular velocity. This then creates chemical elements in our physical illusion and I will assume the elements in the non-physical or other densities in the illusion. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. The logos creates all densities. Your question was unclear. However, we shall state the logos does create both the space-time densities and the accompanying time-space densities. Question 29.14 Questioner, what I am assuming is that quantized incremental rotations of the vibrations show up as a material of these densities. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is essentially correct. Question 29.15 Questioner, then because of these rotations there is an inward motion of these particles which is opposite the direction of space-time progression as I understand it, and this inward progression then is seen by us as what we call gravity. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. Question 29. 16. Questioner, can you tell me how the gravity comes about? Answer, I am Ra. This that you speak of as gravity may be seen as the pressing towards the inner light love, the seeking towards the spiral line of light which progresses towards the Creator. This is a manifestation of a spiritual event or condition of livingness. Question 29.17 Questioner, the gravity that we know of on our moon is less than it is on our planet. Is there a metaphysical principle behind this that you could explain? Answer, I am Ra. The metaphysical and physical are inseparable. Thus that of which you spoke which attempts to explain this phenomenon is able to, shall we say, calculate the gravitational force of most objects due to the various physical aspects such as what you know of as mass. However, we felt it was necessary to indicate the corresponding and equally important metaphysical nature of gravity. Question 29.18 Questioner I sometimes have difficulty in getting a foothold into what I am looking for. I am trying to seek out the metaphysical principles, you might say, behind our physical illusion. Could you give me an example of the amount of gravity in the third density conditions at the surface of the planet Venus? Would it be greater or less than Earth's? Answer, I am Ra. The gravity, shall we say, the attractive force which we also describe as the pressing outward force towards the Creator is greater spiritually upon the entity you call Venus due to the greater degree of success, shall we say, at seeking the Creator. This point only becomes important when you consider that when all of creation in its infinity has reached a spiritual gravitational mass of sufficient nature, the entire creation infinitely coalesces, the light seeking and finding its source and thusly ending the creation and beginning a new creation much as you consider the black hole, as you call it, with its conditions of infinitely great mass at the zero point from which no light may be seen as it has been absorbed. Question 29.19 Questioner, then the black hole would be a point at which the environmental material has succeeded in uniting with unity or with the Creator? Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. The black hole which manifests third density is the physical complex manifestation of this spiritual or metaphysical state. This is correct. <laughs>